last week we talked to you about phase three and the future of travel for us as we were fairly optimistic that we'd be able to cross Canada. Um, Due to a lot of talk saying that phase three was going to be allowing Canadians to do domestic travel. However, that was not the case. It mostly just opened up movie theaters and restaurants, jungle gyms, and all that stuff. <laughs> We do know that some Canadians are starting to travel domestically as well as internationally. However, we don't feel right this week traveling outside of our province, so we are going to spend another week in Ontario and... That could change next week. Yeah, but things could change fairly yeah. soon. However, right now, Canada is doing well. Our numbers are decreasing, people are social distancing, and we are flattening the curve. We don't really know where we're off to today, but we're gonna start the day at the Gables. So before we go on this unknown adventure, we're going to take these doggies for a walk, and we're gonna show you just how much the Gables has grown in, because now that it's summer, it is so lush and beautiful. And we promised you that yeah. we would. We told you we'd show you. And we still don't think we're gonna be here next week because we are wishful thinkers, so <laughs> I'll show you it now, before it's too late. <laughs> My dinosaurs, they're both pulling me either off of the way. <laughs> Where do I go? Who do I pick? <laughs> This region? Yeah. Same with this region. North. Maybe in two weeks? North. <laughs> two and weeks? Not south. No. <laughs> this is more wild, I would say. Let's go here. We've just used back road maps to find out places where we want to go, and we've narrowed down to three different places. So we've wrote them down on a piece of paper, and we're going to draw it from the hat, and the hat is going to be our fate of where we go today. I love it. It's fun. It is fun. I guess you want to pick? Can I pick? Yeah, I guess I've looked. Pick. Is that one? Yep. You're good. To the lake we go! Should we pack some toys? Yep. What lake is it? We need the toys. This should make for a good time. When you stop at your mother-in-law's house to get her paddleboard, you obviously raid the freezer. <laughs> We're packed up, water jugs are full, we're good to go for a few days no, at no. least. Ah! Oh, you missed it? Yeah. Oh. So we're going to be using this back road map book and going to this region. And what you do is you flip the book over and we want to go in this area. So it's page three, that means. So you flip it open and then we're going to zoom in right here. And there's all this area. So all these straight solid black lines means you can drive on them. So there's so much in this area and I'm sure we're going to find a beautiful spot to call home tonight. entrance and before we mission it down these dirt roads we're just gonna let the girls have a nice stretch pee break and honestly my legs need a stretch too Whew. we don't have cruise control in our van I wish we did because all the driving we do would be quite handy good girl Izzy trying to tackle these roads I'm 
I'm just gonna go check out the area and hopefully no one's there and also the road condition. Oh man, there's people there. So unfortunately, there's a cute little family down there enjoying it. And that's one thing about Crown Land is you're not guaranteed to get the spot, but it's a good thing people are out and enjoying nature. So we're off to go find another spot that we've looked on our map and hopefully it will be free for this family to use. We found another trail. So, let's go see what's up here. Crystal sent the safe and rescue team. Can we go there or no? I don't know. The road just goes like completely, like I can't even tell. Like I ran all the way up there and it just keeps going, it keeps going is what you're saying. Yeah, so I have no idea. We could, it is road worthy though. We could take the van there, but I think we should, I know this is cheating. I think we should match up the map with the phone to see the arrow and see if that is like the, okay. you know what I mean? My go. This is how you get the spot. Enjoy the ride. bumpy road and we hope it's going to lead us to a lake that no one's at hopefully we didn't do this for nothing but even if we did it's still a fun road to drive down but whenever you're driving down a road like this you always get to a nice spot so and we have noticed that there are some floats just in case we do need to turn around Ooh! i promise your board's okay mom Oh no! This is not it. No! Oh. Sorry. Pet of nothing. I guess this is where we're staying. So after many failed attempts, this is going to be home for the night. And it's not exactly what we pictured, considering we brought the paddleboard. And I have to say, this actually is still a pretty nice spot. Like, you're in the woods, the bugs are bad, fire pit, and that's just our surroundings. How's it going? Are you MacGyvering it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this isn't our finest work. So pretty much we made holes and we used twine to tie it together because the magnets weren't strong enough. And then we made two big holes. So we're Velcroing it. And then I'm just gonna Velcro all the way down. I wouldn't do this at home though, if I were you. <laughs> it's pretty silly. Buy a big enough bug net? Maybe that's how you can start, yeah. While Jazzy does the bug screen, I'm doing the bug spray. <laughs> Our Aunt Shelly made this for us and she made it for the dogs, but it works on humans too. So I'm gonna load up and then spray the girls. Yeah, it's all natural oils. Our dinner guests, <laughs> half asleep with their legs in the air. <laughs> Some broccoli, lemon pepper tofu. We already saw the potatoes. Potatoes always get two shout outs. <laughs> oh, I just saw her enamel. <laughs> yeah, I probably should shut the door. The eh? bears are going to be smelling our dinner. Smelling our dinner. On that note, dinner is served. Boom! And I'm about to abolish my hangry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank gosh. And we'll see you all tomorrow to complete our mission of showing you a beautiful back road map camp spot. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>
driving this road for around like 20 minutes now and we we're actually just talking about how like we're very surprised how well maintained they are they're like really well groomed and you're probably wondering why we have all of these random roads in Canada and so it's so it is crown land and what it's used for is like hunting fishing camping canoe trips anything like that and you're actually allowed to like stay on one site for up to 21 days if you are a Canadian resident if not you just get a pass also something I wanted to add that not a lot of people actually know is that 80% of the province of Ontario is crown land and that is huge That's that amazing. makes up almost the entire province and there's just so much to explore like you can yeah it's I, that blows my mind that, that fact, blows my mind I like, didn't even know that yeah. We've hit another dead end and this time we can't turn around. I think that was our last attempt on these logging roads. I say. <laughs> we just keep failing and failing and failing. So I think we're gonna head back out onto the highway where we started from and find other entrance to logging roads, probably more at the west entrance. It seems to be a lot more wild up there with more access. Are you good for that? Yeah. After spending quite a few hours the roaming <laughs> the whole day, <laughs> roaming the back roads, we hit a lot of dead ends. And so we decided to just come down to the Madawaska River and we just set up camp and we're gonna hang out here for the night. Nice. It's a beautiful spot and uh, it wasn't very hard to find. <laughs> Plus. <laughs> this is our gazelle. Thanks to our friend Lee for gifting it to us because we are making great use of it. That will keep us sheltered from all the mozzies. And the view with our picnic bench. Crystal's most stoked for a table. It's just going to be really great to have dinner here tonight. I agree. And you swing. Are you going to do it? No, but I know you will. <laughs> Got it. After a full day of driving and wandering the back roads trying to find a place to camp, we finally found something and we have been enjoying it. Jasmine made a white wine lemon zesty gnocchi <laughs> and some Caesar salad. By Crystal. Vegan parmesan and obviously a vegan Caesar salad dressing. Yep. Nice and simple. We're just going to keep it here at our, our newest camp spot. Yeah, we're feeling 
finally we're feeling content. Super happy. We're at a lake. We got to bring the paddleboard out. This is all we wanted. Exactly. And we got here. At the end of the vlog. Finally. <laughs> and we hope this vlog shows you that even if you don't succeed the first time, to keep trying and go at it. Yep. Because yep. you never know where you're going to end up. Yeah, and that's kind of like what Backroads Maps is all about is it doesn't really tell you what's there or, you know, maybe if someone's going to be at yeah. your camp spot. Um, and it's just about like taking that road and going with the flow, seeing what's there. And on that note, subscribe to our channel if you enjoy our content and give it a pause up. Oh. Ciao. Ciao. It is pretty nice. We have some broccoli. You're way below the lens. Like, I can't even see the pan. Oh. <laughs> well, how do I get it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Easy! Oh! Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it, girl! Bella, get it then! I couldn't, if the road went. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. What are you saying? Like this video? Give it a pause up. Like it? Give it a pause up! <laughs> no liking on this channel. We only pause it up. <laughs> I can't believe we just spent the last 48 hours trying to find a spot. <laughs>